Good morning, guys. How is everybody doing? I'm overexposed today, but we're rolling with it. I'm really excited. Anybody who knows me knows that this is not a rare occurrence, but I still wanted to share this with you guys. What I'm doing today is I'm fulfilling a lifelong dream of mine. I'm making a home studio. You guys probably know if you follow me for any bit of time, but I'm a musician. I'm a really avid musician. I actually play eight instruments, and I'm also a carpenter by trade. So I don't know really what's been holding me off from making a home studio until this point, but. Let's get into it. And on a side note, you can see me in a tool belt. Lucky you. So, as you guys may remember from my axe video, I have a ton of rough sawn ash and maple down in my barn. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing this stuff up, straightening the edges out, and we're going to be making a studio desk. That's the first thing on the agenda. Then we're going to set the desk in the room, clear out some space, and hopefully by the end of this afternoon, I'll have a space I can make and produce and write music. It'll be awesome. I'm excited! So back in the workshop again for once we're actually doing a woodworking project. So I'm using my poor cable planer. This is an awesome little tool. I think they run around two to three hundred bucks, but they punch well above their weight. Running wood through a planer saves you hours and hours of work. There are a few technicalities though. If you allow long boards to kind of flop out at the end, you'll end up with what's called snipe, which I have here, and it's kind of no bueno. The good news is if you just make an outfeed table or if you carefully feed your boards out, it won't be a problem. We got them all run through the player. All the ash is looking absolutely gorgeous. I love playing stuff. And seriously, if you don't have a little tabletop player like that, get one. They're so worth it. Now we've got to trim up the edges. So, on rough saw lumber, the edges are rarely straight. They're always, as you can see on this piece right here, kind of craggly, kind of uh, bumpy, and not really suitable for gluing. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to run through this here table saw, and we're going to straighten them right out. With no modifications, the table saw works great for boards that are relatively straight. But if you do happen to get a board that's slightly warped like this one, you can fix that by lengthening out the fence on your table saw using a level like this. I decided to go with a relatively simple corner desk design because, well, I've only got like four brain cells left and I don't like to stress them too much.
freezing garage and into the workout room, which I'm jealously hoarding from my family because I'm filming a YouTube video and that's very important. This is where we're going to be doing the assembly of the table. I have a penchant for overcomplicating things, so I'm going to keep it pretty simple. We're going to put it together with some pretty standard cleats and I'm going to use some wall brackets from Home Depot to put it up on the wall. It's going to be good. Alright, so it's the next morning. I've got my black coffee with a little bit of nutmeg in it. Pro tip, try it. And uh, it snowed about two feet last night, so we've all spent a little bit of time uh, unshoveling our cars. The important thing is, where are we at on the project? I let the table sit under clamps overnight to try to close up all those gaps, and it looks like it might have worked. Let's go unclamp it and take a look at what we got. Just like that, we got ourselves a table. With everything standing up to a high grit, I whipped out the whole saw to make some wire management ports. I made sure to space them in places that I thought would be out of the way when I went to attach it to the wall. At the tip of my miter there was a little bit of a gap, so I fixed this using the sawdust and super glue trick. Basically this just comes down to jamming sawdust into a joint gap until you feel like a little bit less of a hack.
using wall brackets like I am here, it's important to determine your height, in my case 30 inches, and to find the studs in the wall. Once you've found a stud, sink a screw into the bracket, level off the whole mess, and you're off to the races. Brackets are a cheap and very easy way to mount pretty much anything to a wall, and as you can see here, they're actually really rugged. love with how this workstation came out guys I just it's so cool to finally have a place where I can have all my instruments have my drum kit out have my guitar kits out have my MIDI out and have a place that I can produce and record and write music and it's just it's awesome it's a really a dream come true the desk itself came out wonderfully the polyurethane really brought out that ashes grain and it's just got a nice classy modern look to me if I, was, if I was to do it again, maybe I would burn the ash a little bit to really accentuate it, but as is, I'm more than happy with what we did. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of stuff coming down the pipe that I think you're really going to like. Until then, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you very soon. I'm going to be making music.